Hello from Brigantine Beach, New Jersey. This is Barbara and welcome back to our channel where we talk all things web design, branding, and online marketing. Today I wanna to cover something that's really important in business and that's your website and especially making your website look more professional. Now, even if you DIY'd your website, there are certain things that you can do to make it look more professional and attract more of your target customers. So we're gonna get into that today. The first thing you want to do to make your website look more professional is to keep it simple. Simple is the golden rule in website design. And if a website has a bunch of stuff all over the place and a navigation that's confusing, it's a clear sign that it was done by an amateur. So when designing your website, keep simplicity in mind. Make sure that everything has a purpose and an intention. If you do that, it's going to be much more pleasing for your users and easier for them to find things. The second thing that you want to keep in mind is to have a strategy for every page of your website. So every page on your site should have a goal in mind. That goal might be to get people to contact you. It might be to show off some of your best work in a portfolio page. Whatever the goal is, it needs to be clearly defined in a way that's easy for your customers to understand. So you really want to think about every page of your website and how you can make it easy and informative for your users. Number three is to have clear calls to action on every page. So after somebody views the page, what's the next step? It should be easy for people to figure that out. So have call to action buttons that are prominent and easy to find so people know exactly what they need to do next. Number four is to talk to your audience, not at your audience. So an amateur has a bad habit of talking about himself all the time. And yes, it is your website, but you have to remember that your website is for your clients. So you need to be addressing them on your website instead of just talking all about how great you are. So make sure you're addressing their pain points, letting them know what it is that you do well and how you can solve their problem exactly. Number five is to edit your copy and then edit some more. Amateurs always have way too much text on their website. Brevity is key to a professional looking design. You want to say a lot with as little words as possible. So really take time to go through your copy and get rid of anything that's not necessary. Because you have to remember, most people are just scanning your website. They're not reading things word for word. If they see a page with a ton of text on it, they're not even going to bother. You wanna make sure that you get the point across in a way that's easy to understand and just get straight to the point so people know exactly what they want to do next. Number six is to include your prices, at least starting prices. There's a lot of back and forth on whether you should add prices to your website or not, and we're definitely in the camp that you should because it saves that back and forth of people emailing you with questions and then you get to the point where it's time to sign up and they find out your pricing and they're like, oh, it's way outside of my budget. If you at least have starting prices on your website, it's going to make it clear whether or not people can afford your services. And if they can't, that's okay, but they're not your client. And you want to be working with people that are your client. That's the point of your website. So include your prices on your website. Number seven is to have detailed descriptions of your products and services. Now, when I go to a website, I should know exactly what it is that you do or what you're selling. But a lot of times I go to sites and I have absolutely no clue. And it's because the services pages are lacking. So you want to make sure that you really explain what it is that your services, what your packages are, and what it is that you're selling. This is especially important if you sell physical products on your site because people can't physically hold the items that you're selling. So you need to be as descriptive as possible to make sure that they get a really good idea of what it is that they're buying. Number eight 
is to get rid of those cheesy stock photos. Nothing screams amateur more than those cheesy stock images of people in business suits shaking hands that clearly don't work for your company. It's time to get professional and get professional images. Invest in professional photography for your website if you want to look professional. It's as simple as that. Take the time out to plan out what it is you're gonna put on your website. Have a good headshot of yourself, especially on your about page. Don't have the cheesy stock photo of the company on your about page, because that's clearly not you. Have a good picture, and it's going to take your brand to the next level. People respond much better to images than text, so this is super important for your website. Number nine is to avoid too many colors. Not every color is right for a screen. It might look good in print, but on a screen it could actually be hurtful on the eyes and cause a bad user experience. So avoid a bunch of bright colors as backgrounds or using black backgrounds with white text because it just makes it harder for people to read what's on your website and it looks less professional than if you have a nice clean layout. Number 10 is to keep animation subtle. Now animations can definitely add some cool factor to your website, but if you overuse them, your website ends up looking like a cheesy PowerPoint presentation and not a professional designed website. So my thing with animations is that they should be used intentionally and to, it should add something to the design. So if you use them on, let's say a call to action, maybe it just like pulses or bounces to say, hey, click here, that's a good way to use an animation. But if you have stuff rolling in from every which way and images flying and fading, that actually can make it more distracting for users and people won't know where to go. So you wanna make sure that you're intentionally using animations and it's adding to the overall design and not distracting people from doing what it is that you want them to do. Number 11 is to pay attention to typography. Remember, not everybody is going to be reading every single word of your website. They're probably just going to be scanning the page for important information. So if you use typography correctly, you can get that information across in a way that breaks it up into meaningful chunks instead of people having to dig deep on the page and scan every word. So use headings, bold text, italic text, different colors on the page to break the page up so the important information gets across so, and people don't have to read it word for word. Number 12 is to make sure that your website loads lightning fast. Professional websites load quickly because professionals realize that you only have a few seconds to grab attention. One of the big reasons for websites not loading quickly is lack of image optimization. If you have images that are huge, it's going to eat at your resources and people are just gonna be waiting forever and ever for your page to load and they're just gonna leave. It's plain as that. They're not going to spend the time to wait for your site to load. So you wanna make sure that your images are optimized, you're not using a ton of external scripts or plugins that you don't need on your website because all of those things are going to increase the size of your site, which then increases the load time. And when you only have a few seconds to get somebody's attention, you need to make sure that those seconds are spent meaningful and it's not just waiting and waiting and waiting for your page to load. Number 13 is to add an email opt-in. You want to stay in touch with your visitors and one of the easiest ways to do that is to add an email opt-in to your website. That way you can send them promotions, marketing materials, or whatever you have going on in your company. People check their email a lot more than they visit websites, so it's a great way to stay connected, establish professionalism and credibility. You want to make sure that when you add the email opt-in to your website though, that you're adding it in a way that's enticing people to sign up, not just something like subscribe to my email list because people see that all the time and they're not really going to be incentivized to subscribe. You wanna give them something for free, something valuable that they could actually use in exchange for their email address. Number 14 is don't ignore web accessibility. 
Accessibility is an important factor in website design. And if you want to take your website to that next professional level, it's really important not to ignore this. Not everybody is on the same playing field, unfortunately. People have disabilities that make it harder for them to view websites. So you want to make sure that you include them. Some people have color blindness or they're using screen readers that are reading the text on the website versus them actually seeing it. So there's different things that you can do on your site to make it easy for those people. Things like adding alt tags, making sure that your contrast is up to par so people that do have problems with color blindness can see everything on your site. These are all little things that really do go a long way. And bonus, stuff like this helps with SEO. So don't ignore it. Number 15 is to add your personality. My last tip for you into making your website more professional is to be unique. There are tons of different website builders and themes and things that you can buy that you can install on a server and throw up on a website and be done with it. But the websites that truly stand out are the ones that show off the company's personality. So don't be afraid to get a little creative. Add things that are special about your company to your site. Add some different details and think outside the box if you really want your website to stand out as a professional looking design this goes a long way don't be just like everyone else stand out and make your website unique to you so those are my 15 tips to make your website more professional I love to know what you have to think about this and if you have any additional tips leave a comment down below be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks.